What up, what up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today on Fitness Tech Reviews, we're gonna be going over the Fitbit Lux. This is Fitbit's newest band. And we're also gonna be going over the Charge 4, one of Fitbit's most popular bands. They're basically form over function, seeing which one is best for you, but let's go ahead and get right into it. All right, let's go ahead and get into the similarities to start out with. So they both go with the Fitbit app. If you're looking to get that a little bit more in depth, check out the video up here. I went over the Fitbit app in depth. But one of the things that is a little bit more different, you do get six months free through the Fitbit Premium, through the Fitbit Lux. So if you are looking to go Fitbit Premium, six months free can save you a little bit of money. They both have heart rate monitors. They both have accelerometers. They both have SpO2 sensors. Even though the Lux isn't currently updated to use it, it does have it built in. And they both have skin temperature as well. And they both use a vibration function to let you know what's going on. They both offer five atmospheres of water resistance. So you can go swimming with both. And both of them pretty much have the same type of swimming accuracy. They're both rocking pretty much the same Bluetooth as well, so the same connectivity to your phone. And they're both at around the same price point. The Fitbit Lux is currently $150, where the Charge 4 is about $150 as well, but it can go on sale all the way down to $99 if you can find it on sale. And they both come with 20 different ways to track your exercises, and they both have automatic tracking as well through Smart Track through Fitbit. With fitness tracking and sleep tracking, they both do a great job. Again, the Lux doesn't have their SpO2 sensor currently active. It needs to be in an update. But after that, as you can say, see through my review of the Fitbit Lux, it does a great job tracking your sleep and tracking your exercises. So you'll get the same type of fitness tracking with both these bands. All right, let's get into the user interface of both these guys. Let's first start with the Fitbit Lux. It does have a lot of different watch faces that you can get through the app. And when you swipe down, this is gonna give you all your settings, your do not disturb, your auto awake, your settings. There really aren't many settings built in. And the only way to go through these screens, you do have the double hit home and it'll go back home. And if you swipe over to the right, these are gonna be all your widgets. You can change out your widgets and what you would like. It does take a little bit to get to your workouts, but when you get to the workouts, you get pressed through from here. Again, double hit that home button, brings you all the way home. And if you go the other way, you have your notifications. And again, back to exercises. When you swipe up, this is gonna give you all of your activities based in all right there. So again, double tapping. And when you just actually tap on the screen, you can see the bottom changes out. Don't forget, you can replace the bands on this. So if you go click it out, you can be replacing these bands at any time. When we are talking about the Fitbit Charge 4, again, you could swipe down. This is going to give you some notifications, even give you more from there. And if you squeeze, that is going to be your home. When you swipe to your right, this is going to be a bigger screen, so you'll be able to see more there. Again, everything's built right in. Your timers, your weather, your settings. There are a decent amount of settings, changing your brightness, your sleep modes, your GPS settings, and stuff like that. Don't forget to get into those GPS settings and turn GLONASS on because that isn't set on to begin with. And again, hitting the home button will bring you there and tapping on the screen, just like on the Lux, it'll actually change out that bottom. When you swipe up, there really is no swipe up and there is no swipe left. So that's pretty much everything built in and these are replaceable as well. You do have to kind of get your nail in. So if you ever want to replace the bands on the Charge 4, same type of deal. Let's get into the differences. The first one's pretty obvious. The screen itself, you do have a color AMOLED screen on the Lux that is coming in at about 0.76 inches, where you do have a grayscale LCD on the charge. So that is gonna be a full inch, so it'll be a little bit bigger, but they both have customizable watch faces. Also, there is no actual buttons or anything like that on the Lux where there is a squeeze touch on the charge to go back. So I'm a little bit bigger of a fan because if you want to go back on the Lux, you do have the double tap. So it's a little bit more different. You just have to get a little bit more used to it. So the build of them, they are relatively similar. Uh, they both have stainless steel, but of course the Lux is a little bit smaller, a little bit more robust, where the Fitbit charge is a little bit wider and a little bit thinner, but they're both 
very durable. The Fitbit Charge 4 does come with GPS built in. So if you do want to go on a run, it does have five hours of battery life with the GPS. So you don't have to have your phone with you or you do actually have to have your phone on you if you want to go on a run and get it tracked with the Fitbit Lux. And also right now with the Fitbit Lux, when you go on a run, it's not giving you a map. I don't know if that's going to be updated in the future, but it should be where you do get a map with your intensities on the Charge 4. You also get Fitbit Pay on the Charge 4 as well. So if you want to get involved with that, the NFC payment through Fitbit, it's a great way to do it where you do not on the Fitbit Lux. There are actually some wellness features on the Lux that you won't get on the charge, some breathing exercises, relaxation and mindfulness built into the Lux that you do not get on the charge. They are really looking to go towards more of a mindfulness now that Fitbit has been acquired by Google. Using the heart rate monitor and heart rate variability, the Fitbit Lux can give you kind of a stress score throughout your day that you can track and work on as well. Also, you do have Spotify built into the Charge 4 and actual music control, where currently there is no music control on the Lux that should be updated soon. But with Spotify, if you do wanna go on a run with the Fitbit Charge 4, as long as you have Spotify Premium, you can download a whole entire playlist to the watch itself. And of course, if you have Bluetooth connected with the headphones, you'll be able to listen to that playlist without your phone. Battery life, you do get a full seven days with the Charge 4, where you get about five days with the Lux. So with that seven days, you do have to turn on a couple different features. Do check out my Fitbit Charge 4 review right up here. So you do have to turn on a couple of features that does take it down to may maybe a little bit closer to about six days. With a Fitbit Lux, everything's already turned on, but if you want the screen on a little longer, you do have to pay for that. And again, if you wanna check out that review, check out the link right up here to check out my full review on the Fitbit Lux. All right, what are my recommendations with these two bands? They both are great with your fitness tracking, especially for their price range, great with your heart rate monitoring, and they're also great with just step tracking and calorie tracking as well, and you have a great Fitbit app behind it. But it really comes into form over function. You do have a better looking band on the Lux. It has a more vibrant screen that you're able to read, but you get a bigger screen on the charge with GPS. You also get Spotify, you also get NFT, FC payment through Fitbit Pay and don't forget the even bigger battery life on the Charge 4. So it really is up to you if you are looking for a fitness tracker. They're both going to do a great job fitness tracking if you're looking for a slimmer and sleeker band. You right now can't beat the Lux, but if you're looking for something that does a little bit extra for maybe even a cheaper price, the Charge 4 will be where it's at even though you do have to work with this grayscale screen. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Please smash that like button if you did and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to hit that bell notification to get yourself notified when I have my newest tech review coming out. And if you guys use the links down below, you'll be shot to Amazon and a little bit of your purchase is gonna help me grow my channel. As always, stay happy, stay healthy, and above all, stay positive. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.